So another way that we can present this is that if we've got time, this time time is on the horizontal as the, uh, as the independent axis. And here we've got some measure of morphological change. And basically I'm saying that as the population goes from being here to the population being here, um, that's some amount of change that you can quantify as being this distance here. And you've got two hypotheses for how change occurs over time. So this is long periods of time over multiple species in the fossil record. And you either have this idea of phyletic gradualism where you have essentially a low variance in the rate of change. So change is more or less constant. This doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line, but it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's a little wiggly, but it's more or less constant through time. And that differs from the idea of punctuated equilibrium where here we have equilibrium where we have little change occurring and then we've got this punctuation event where you have rapid change. Again, rapid meaning tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of years. But, but rapid is as far as the fossil record is concerned. Uh, that are followed by periods of stasis. The population is large and successful, not changing much. Peripheral isolate, rapid changes, again, occurring over long periods of time in terms of our own lives, but not as far as the fossil record is concerned, followed by periods of stasis where the population is larger and not changing much, and so on and so forth. So you have this large amount of variance. In other words, it's going from basically no change to very fast change to no change to very fast change. And that's called punctuated equilibrium. And once again, that's the punctuation right here, short time span, lots of change, and that's the equilibrium right there no little change over long time spans.